Hello business builders, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be covering one of the lesser known but very powerful Notion hacks, which is turning entire workspaces into database templates. This is one of the more common questions that I get and I've actually troubleshooted it enough times over Loom that I thought I may as well just make a tutorial video out of it. So first I'll just cover the basics of how to actually create a template inside of a database. Then we'll show how to drag an entire workspace into that database template. If you want to remove this extra layer, which sometimes appears, I'll show you how you can turn the entire workspace into text, so to speak. And finally, we will test out our new template by just creating several copies of it and seeing how quick it is to recreate an entire workspace using templates. Let's get into it. So for this video, we're going to create a database template out of this client portal 2.0 workspace. You can see there are several pages, databases, linked views already set up in this client portal, all of which can be found in the map here, all the pages and databases, and it all lives on this single page client portal 2.0. Since the databases are linked to one another and it's a closed system, as a general rule of thumb, anytime you have a closed system like that, where the databases reference each other, the pages are all living within one page, you're not jumping out of the system elsewhere, you can probably turn that whole thing into a database template in Notion. So we're gonna do that with this client portal 2.0, and we're going to create it as a template inside of this landmark flows database. So our first step for you is going to be to choose the database you'd like to create the template in, or perhaps you need to create a new database for the template itself. Step number one is going to be creating the template itself. We are going to, you can list and take a look at any existing templates uh, with this blue drop down menu for the given database, but you can also simply click into a new empty item. It's worth noting that as soon as you start typing, or even if you select in and create a new block, you're not going to see the templates inside of the database. You need to fully clear the object or the item in the database. You can see there are a couple of existing templates in this landmark flows database. We're going to create a new template here. Now, typically, Templates are great for things like checklists, for uh, quickly spawning a to-do list, you know, item one, item two, item three, etc. So that if I come back here, now I have a checklist template. If I want to quickly generate that process, I get this little to-do list. That's helpful, but what we're trying to do here is actually create a template from an entire workspace. So the client portal has, uh, I think, nine or 10 different databases. There are 10 or so different pages, linked views, etc. There's a lot of work in there that would, it would be nice if we could just create it with one click. So that's what we're going to try and do here. So again, we're going to hit new template. And what we need to do is we need to drag the entire client portal 2.0 page into this section here. Simple, simple enough if we can do it, but there's one step we need to do before we can actually make that work. So that step is going to be to move the home page of this client portal, which we can see from here. So if I click in, I'm at the home page. I can see that this is, this is the page object itself. And what I need to do is I need to drag this entire page into my account, my Notion account menu. So I'm going to drag it to the top of this private pages section. And now that it's there, I'll be able to access it from this template creation space. So again, I'm going to hit new template. I'm going to enable, name it uh, new client portal. I'm going to open this as a page because again, if I tried to drag it from here, I wouldn't actually be able to do so. I'm going to hit open as page and I need to open my Notion account menu and I can just drag this entire thing into this new client portal template. I can hit back and I can check that it's how I want it to be, hit back again, and you'll see that we now have a, a template in our database called New Client Portal. If I hit New Client Portal, it's going to generate that page with all of the databases, all of the pages, all of the views within it. 
we can call this client portal number one. So this is our first instance of it. And you can see that we have another fresh copy of that entire client portal in here. If we wanted to create another one, we could do so in the database. Hit that button again, client portal number two, and these will be totally separate instances with different maps and different uh, separate views. So that's handy. One thing we may want to do, and which will be possible with specific types of workspaces, if you have any synced blocks or any uh, kind of complex linking of databases, it may not be possible to do it this way, but we can remove one layer of this setup. Instead of having this extra click through link here, we could simply turn this entire thing into text once we're inside of this template view remove this text and backspace one more time. And now what we have is the client portal one layer up. So that if I hit back and now I create a new client portal, a new client portal without the layer, we will see once it loads, we get another fresh copy of the client portal. It's a little bit squished up, but if I open it up as a page, you'll see that we have another fresh copy. Now the page itself, we can format the template page to match how that original client portal was. So small text with full width. And you can see that we have another copy of our client portal. So just to recap, you can create a template in any database from almost any workspace, so long as all of the pages, databases, and links are contained within that uh, anchor or primary page. You can drag the, that page into a database template, and from there you'll be able to rapidly create multiple copies, all within a single database in Notion. So that's a quick tutorial for how you can create database templates out of almost anything in Notion. Very curious to hear how you plan on using it if you're already using it yourself. Let me know in the comments what types of database templates you're going to build. And if you have any examples to share, please do so. I'd be curious to, to take a look at what you're building. Thanks.